Hi, it's Corrine for Wild Orchid Crafts, and today I have a wedding album to share with you, a finished album. I could not film the process of it because I worked on it for a few days, so the video would be way too long, but I thought I would do a quick flip through of the album. The album is a custom ordered album. It's a friend of the family, and her sister is getting married, and she had said the theme is rustic burlap, lace, twine. So as soon as she said that, I thought of this paper collection. I think it's a perfect collection for a rustic themed wedding, but yet elegant. And this is the Rustic Elegance by Cartabella. Gorgeous papers. There's so much that comes in this kit. I've used pretty much everything except the stickers. I'm not a huge sticker person, um, but all their stickers, they also come in die cuts as well. So I used a lot of the die cuts. So I don't have much left of this. And this album is seven and a half by six. The spine is about three and three quarters. And I wanted to keep the front very simple because I knew right away that I wanted to use this chalkboard looking thing. Um, I got this from the $1.50 section at Michael's and I need to get more of these because I think it's just a perfect touch to an album. And as you can see, I put, and they lived happily ever after for the title. I did that with vinyl. This had the burlap already on it. So I adhered that down with some medium matte finish Ranger. And for the side, first of all, she said burlap and lace. So when I saw this, I picked it up for this album. This is so perfect for the album. And this to me also was perfect, a perfect thing for the spine, this heart. I've had this in my stash for a couple of years waiting for the perfect project. And I knew right away I wanted to use it on this album. So I got this at Michael quite a while ago. I did edge the side of the burlap with this flat back pearl trim from Wild Orchid Craft. I used tons of Wild Orchid Craft products in here. So I'll make sure to list those down in the description box as well as over on my blog. And so I wrapped it around and finished it off with this. And then I put the um, flower cluster up in the top right since it's in the bottom left on this side. So as you can see, this is a nice chunky album. It has eight pages and I gave myself a half inch gusset because I knew I wanted to fill it with flowers and things like that. For the side, I wanted a closure and I was going to try and use lace, but I couldn't get the lace to close right. So I went ahead with tulle, which I thought was really appropriate for a wedding album. So each page has a side pullout mat. And the way I did it, I designed this on my Cameo. I made it to look, I wanted it to stick out just enough to look like a scallop edge, but actually it's hearts. So it's a heart border edge which again, I thought was very appropriate for an album. And every page, there's eight, like I mentioned, there's eight pages. Every one has a pullout mat. And this will hold easily a five by seven or several smaller photos, journaling, whatever the bride wants to do. So on this side, this is a Polaroid frame. I um, backed it a couple times so it is sturdy, but yet it's left open so they can slide their photo behind it, their wedding photo. But to the inside, I added a little saying that says grateful, thankful, blessed. And here I added this banner with their initials on it. And she did say that um, their wedding was going to have twine, as I mentioned. So I made sure to include twine on the banner here that says love. I added their wedding date. And then I added this die cut from the collection that says you and me. And I did um, double that as well. So it's thick. And then I did add these beautiful pearl heart sprays from Wild Orchid Crafts. This is a piece of the small rose trimming from Wild Orchid Crafts. And this banner I did, I think three layers, so it's thick and it'll sit right above the photo. On this first page here, I used this love wooden cutout. I got this from Michaels and I use this gorgeous pearl trim again from Wild Orchid Crafts. And if you can see, I designed this in my cameo as well. It's a, a pocket with hearts on it. So photos can be placed inside the pocket. And this collection comes with tons of journaling cards, which is one of the things I love. I did add some, these are four and a half by six and a half photo mats. So when they place their four by six photo, it'll leave just a tiny little border of the pattern paper. 
So here's one of the papers from the collection. And then this one, she can circle her wedding date, add a photo on the back or journaling. And then this little three by four photo or um, journaling card. Let me fix something on the back here real quick. So the next page, this again is made for a photo mat, a four by six photo. It may need to be trimmed down slightly on the side. So it's maybe three and three quarters by six. I added that trim as a belly band going across. I added two of the chrysanthemum, the off-white chrysanthemums. I thought that's a perfect combination with a rustic theme. And then I added this little uh, charm that says love that dangles from some crochet twine. And just as decoration, I made a tag using from the paper collection and I foiled Mr. and Mrs. with their last name on it. I didn't know if she wanted me to show her last name or not, so I'm covering that up. But I used Deco Arts or Deco Foil Rose Art uh, Foil. Is it Rose Art? Um, rose gold. I don't know why I'm calling it art. Rose gold foil. And this is a gorgeous foil. Let me, here's a piece that doesn't, um, out of the packaging. So maybe you could see it a little bit better. It's a beautiful color. So I added that to a tag again, adding their name with a heart. I love how that turned out. And then I backed it on the same craft cardstock that I made the album out of. On this side, I designed a bracket pocket. Again, photos can be placed inside the pocket. These pockets are pretty large, so they'll hold quite a few photos. And here's a photo mat. I added photo mats to every single one of the pockets as well. So like I said, she can add photos to the front and back or a journal on the back about the photo. Here is one of the journaling cards from the collection. It says happily ever after. Beautiful. Here's a tag from the collection. I added some seam binding to it. And then another little journaling tag. Here I added one of the mixed frames from Wild Orchid Crafts with some of the paper from the collection in the back. And then I used some glossy accents and added some pearls to the frame. They're mixed frames. They come in um, different, they have uh, circles, they have squares, and then they have the rectangles, they have hearts, they have several to choose from. On this side, I added the photo mat directly to the paper, but I added this cluster here with a pocket on the side so the photo can slip right behind it. And here's one of the journaling cards. It says, this is our happily ever after, established, so she can write the date there. Again, journaling or a photo on the back. That just tucks right on the side. I have some more of those gorgeous white, off-white chrysanthemums. I have um, I used quite a few of these ivory hearts throughout. I think they're perfect for baby albums and wedding albums. And then I use this beautiful cotton lace from Wild Orchid Crafts. That went perfectly in it. And then tucked under there is a um, rose trimming, one of these pieces from the rose, uh, it's organza trim. And then I have an open rose here. And then I have two little wedding rings right there. I love, this is probably my favorite paper from the collection is this in the back here. I think that's so pretty. On this side, here's another photo mat, but I wanted to add something instead of just the paper collection, I added a, a large journaling card, wrap some of this hemp cord around it. So again, she can slide her picture right on that and adhere it down. On this side, I have, um, and they lived happily ever after. I got that from the online silhouette store. Some more of that white organza rose trimming and then some more of those ivory hearts. gorgeous paper in the back. Here's the photo mat for the pocket. And then here's one of my favorite journaling cards um, from the collection. Another little journaling card. It says just the two of us. This one as well. You will forever be my always. And then I designed a tag from the collection, added a bow with a pearl to the center. So there's tons of rooms for journaling photos. Here's a photo mat and I just added some photo corners to each side. On this side I added some more of those gorgeous chrysanthemums. I thought they went so great with that brown paper. 
And then on this side, I used two different laces, of course, from Wild Orchid Crafts, along with the flat back pearls, some sweetheart blossoms, and then this really pretty lace paper. Here's one of the, um, from the paper collection, I did a photo mat. I love that paper as well. Journaling card. I backed it with some craft card stock. Here's just a, I had an extra piece, so I added that in as a, a photo matter. Again, she can journal on the back. And then this I cut out from the collection, backed it on some craft card stock, and then this adorable journaling card here. I had so much fun with this album. This is probably one of my favorite collections for, uh, for weddings. And when she said rustic, I knew right away this would be a perfect collection. On this side, I use this trim that I had from Hobby Lobby. It's the last of the trim that I had. It's their um, spare parts brand. And it's gorgeous. It's pleated already. It's perfect. It's like a burlap type canvas trim. And then I added that organza trimming on top, tied a few bows of twine, and added one of those ivory hearts to the center, made a little tag. She can slip a photo right behind this and adhere it down or leave it so it can be pulled out and looked at. On this side, I use this gorgeous trim. Again, perfect for this album, this lace trim. I'll have all these listed, like I said, on my blog and in the description box if you're looking. And then more of these ivory hearts. Here's the photo mat for this page. I love this paper. Here's the large journaling card, four by six journaling card. And then three more of the smaller, the three by four journaling cards. On this side, I cut this out from the cameo. It says Mr. and Mrs. and adhered it down to hold the photo mats, added some flat back pearls. Love this paper. Here's a photo mat. I added a bow with a rhinestone heart in the center. Again, she can place photos behind that. Here's from the paper collection and this one as well. I love that this collection has mason jars in it because usually a rustic wedding has, um, they use mason jars in some form. So this I designed on my cameo as a bracket side pocket, added a bow, and it's magnetized so she can journal. There is a magnet under there that she'll have to kind of write around, but she can journal on this and then add a photo to this. Or she could add two, probably two by two photos. Another pocket on the side with this gorgeous cotton lace. I added two of the gardenias. The gardenias come with like four layers. I took them apart to give them a little bit lower profile, added those along with one of these diamond embellishments and some pearls to the center. And then I also added the pearl loop spray from Wild Orchid Crafts and some hip rosebuds as well. to the pocket here is the photo mat another journaling card a four by six added a bow with a pearl to the center and then two of the smaller journaling cards on this side i used a wooden cutout frame from wild orchid crafts there's three different layers on this and I use some ranger matte medium to hold them together with some sweetheart blossoms and that makes for my little pocket. I love this paper here. So here's the journaling card or I mean the photo mat and the journaling card that just tucks right in there. And on the last page is another bracket style pocket that I designed with a bow and an open rose in the center. The photo mat and then I also made a little booklet using a journaling card and then a die cut from the collection and held it together with some twine. And it's a accordion style photo mount so she can get quite a few more photos in this. And on the last page, this comes in the collection. I love this, I think it's perfect for the wedding album so she can fill that out. I added some gorgeous wild roses and open roses and leaves again from Wild Orchid Crafts. So I hope you enjoyed this flip, flip through and Kayla, I hope you like the album. I hope you're happy with it. And if you have any questions, please leave me a comment. Thanks so much for stopping by.